Hello everyone and welcome to another Ask Fluke. Now before you start going, hey, what are you doing? We only ask Fluke on Sundays was real content. It's be this is happening because I'm working on a lot of big videos at once. Because you can kind of tell from my channel I have the smaller videos like this and seven minutes and shit. And then I've got bigger videos which are like live action and 25 minute playthroughs of things and stuff. So, you know, I'm trying to balance it out and I'm still working out the finickety bits. But um, I've been working on like three big videos this week which will be coming out soon. One is a live action video that is the biggest live action video I've done and it's going to be my channel trailer and I'm putting in shit loads of work to make sure that it's good but it's taking its time. Uh, two is another episode of Sims that's on its way I promise. Uh, and three is another big video of another game that is a simulator game. So those are all coming, yay. Uh, but for now, to just kind of tide you over, I'll do another one of these and stuff. And also to make another announcement. Uh, those of you that stuck around and have been around for a while will know that last year I made a web series, written, directed uh, one of the episodes, and you know, and that was loads and loads of fun. Um, but it's now going live on a different page, a different YouTube page. Uh, then this one um, and I will put the link at, in it at some point but uh, I will also put the first kind of minute-ish of footage from it at the end of this video it's called the bones of youth go check it out once you've done watching this video Yay! Uh, okay cool questions first of all who can grow the best beard in the crew Bobby T uh, probably Gubiak. He has that wizardly look about him. You know, he's got the kind of... You'd feel like he could get a strokeable beard and he'd go with his long, beautiful, flowing ginger locks. He's probably Gubiak. Um, Hi, I'm a massive fan of yours and the rest of the crew's channels. I heard you mention in a previous video that you were a drummer. I am also a musician and would love to see a video of you drumming. Would you ever upload a video of this? Steph Pierce, 12345. I would love to, but the problem with uploading a drumming video is... Um, it's very, very difficult to get the sound right, uh, you know, it's dependent on the room and you need to have multiple microphones and stuff. Um, so as you can see from this test video that I will just put in here... Oh, look at that, cutaways and stuff. The production quality, uh, it was very, very kind of <laughs> sounding. So, you know, I, it would take a lot of setup and a lot of work to get that going. So that will be in the pipeline, but maybe not for a while, but I would love to do it. Hey, Fluke, why don't you play Hearthstone? Did you think it was boring or you wouldn't like it? Like Rage, Hollow, Gooby and Evans from Mario Di Bartolomeo. Di Bartolomeo. Um, I did enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. Um, but it kind of fell into this sinkhole of time and games that happened just before Christmas. Like there was like Hearthstone, um, Daisy, uh, Starbound. They all kind of came out around the same time because I was doing content as well and looking for jobs and stuff. Um, I never really got a chance to play through any of them. Um, and I would love to go back to them, but like I only got two or three days on each of them. So, you know, it wasn't a problem with the game, it was a problem with me. Hey Fluke, first off, great vids always make me and my mates laugh, so thanks. And it's a weird kind of question, but I was watching the Yogscast 2013 four chords song again before and noticed halfway through, Strippin said, Ha! Captain Fluke says I'm sitting naked waiting for the magic. First off, that you? And second, was it true? Ha ha. Maybe? I mean, I don't, I doubt it. I don't even know who, like, I know who Yogscast are, obviously, but I don't know who Strippin is. Uh, I mean, it could have been... I, I doubt it. it. Might have been. I do drink a lot. Maybe. But I doubt it. <laughs> hey, uh, I love the videos. One, do you like Sunderland seeing as you're a Newcastle supporter, not the place, the team? The team? No. They just beat us 3 0. Why would I like them? That's. Uh, two, you said you would like to do something in the film industry, but which part of the industry? Acting, filming, directing, etc. by Anna Smith. Uh, I would like to get into directing mainly and writing. I would love to be able to write something and then shoot it and then be like, I made this. Um, I would also like to do acting, but there's a lot more kind of hurdles that you can't control with acting. Like directing and stuff is kind of talent based mainly. And obviously acting needs talent, but a lot of the time it's based on looks and based on appearance. And you know, those are things that obviously I don't really worry about, obviously. Um, so directing something that I can more, you know, get into. And I like writing. 
Jenny, hey, if the members of the crew did not yet have aliases and any name you choose they would have to stick with, what would you choose for them? Serious names or just fun names? It doesn't matter. Uh, I, hmm. I would change Rages because he doesn't suit Rage because he's never really angry. I would give him something like Fairy Princess. That can be Rages. Evans can now be Rage. Hollow can be called Smiley Jim. Gubiak, he has to stay Gubiak. I couldn't imagine him as anything other than Gubiak. Jake can be called Potato Pete. Uh, Pocket can stay Pocket. Tide, stay Tide. No, pronounce it Teed. Peace. Um, Chub Peace. Haha. <laughs> um, who else? Am I forgetting anyone? Duke, Duke, Duke. But the first word is like D U K E rather than J U K E. So it's like Duke, Duke. I am the Duke. That kind of thing. Yeah, those are the new names. New crew names, 2014. Uh, we're getting a fresh new look. Uh, Allison, Fluke, will you share your lucky charms? No. You got the hell away from all your lucky charms. Um, from CHS or Blue Menace or Callum H. Smith, whatever floats your boat. I like someone, but they like someone else, and I'm currently tasked with helping them get with said other person. All our ages range from 15 to 16, and we're all quite weird people, to say the least. Also, she's my semi- bracket, semi-psychotic, but actually a nice person, bracket ex-girlfriend's best friend. Warning sarcasm, because it wasn't all screwed up enough, smiley face. Please help an outside opinion would be golden and you're the best person I know of but I'm personally not acquainted with. To the Flukemeister, or Flukezilla, or Flukachino, or Fluke, bracket if you want to be all generic and use your actual name, bracket. Well, CHS, or Blue Menace, or Callum H. Smith, whatever floats your boat. The answer's obvious, have an orgy. Hey Fluke, big fan of the videos you do when you're not in them. I was wondering, how do you feel knowing Relsa will never happen? All the best, not Relsa. Bracket, Josh Bell. Bracket, well, the thing is that, not Relsa. Um, I do believe that you've actually already said you would do it. Like three times. There was once in the stream where you said, I'll only do it if you're Anna. And I was like, yeah, I don't care. I'm fucking cool like that. And then you were like, oh, no, I don't mean that. I mean something else. And then there was the other time where you were like, Oh, um, I can't even remember what you were like, but you definitely agreed to it. And then there's the most recent time on Twitter where you said you would remake a song for your YouTube channel, which I offered to direct and shoot and storyboard. So, guys, who would want to see Rage slash not Relsa perform, what was this, Let It Go? Thing. Uh, from the movie Frozen on his YouTube channel. If he's not going to go to the convention, he should have to do that. And we'll film it around scenic Yorkshire. <laughs> cool. That is all for this episode of Ask Fluke. As I said, those other videos are coming. Please don't be angry or whatever you guys like to be. <laughs> Mainly angry. Um, send more questions to askfluke at gmail.com. Um, uh, follow me on Twitter and Tumblr and like, save and subscribe. Or um, and here is like the first minute-ish of the first episode of my show, The Bones of Youth. Uh, and it is a post-nuclear apocalyptic story about a group of uh, teenager kids growing up in an abandoned warehouse, uh, believing they are the last people left alive. Ooh. So, check it out. Whoops. Check it out. Thanks for watching. Laters! Jacob's Bible, Lesson 2. How the world was destroyed. Fifteen years ago, a war started. No one knows who threw the first stone. But soon, the world was locked in a war that scorched the earth. Five years later, the last bomb fell. But the damage had been done. Those who survived the war couldn't gather food or water, and the radiation was spreading. No one was safe. You are all that is left of that world. You are the only future we have. And so we must work towards protecting you.